Chargers at Denver. Uh, Denver's five and a half right now. If there was a time I would want to back Sean Payton, it's in this spot. Like tiny, <laughs> tiny little chance off of an embarrassing loss in which his team was yeah. outplayed. He was out coached. They gave away all the momentum they had built up in the middle of the season. The Chargers had their dead cap bounce, right? They were at home against Buffalo. They had their shot, almost pull, pulled it off. I don't like the number. I don't like the fact that the division favorites play so badly against the spread the past decade, the past five years. Um, but I do like the Broncos in this spot. Yeah, and shockingly, somehow the Broncos are still fighting for their division, right? I mean, it's pretty crazy to think. Um, one of the dumber bets I've ever made might actually hit because the Chiefs have just been an absolute train wreck this season. But um, yeah, Chad's right. Like I wanted to be on the Chargers, but can't get there. No, and the numbers just shouldn't be this low. If it was seven, seven and a half, like the Patriots number, yeah, I'd get there. But at five, it feels like the value is on this Denver team that, you know. Like Chad said, they're just a team that can't stop shooting themselves in the foot. Like, they'd be probably 10, 11 wins by now if they just didn't make so many stupid mistakes all season. So, um, yeah, scary betting on Denver team at this big of a number, but it's even worse back in a Chargers team coming off last week where it's just they're overvalued. Like, this number this number should not be this low just because the Chargers had a bunch of turnover luck against the Bills team. So, I'm with you, Chad. I'll, I'll back Denver here. 